Today on All Things 80s, my first ever Star Wars toys. <laughs> Welcome back to All Things 80s. Now, just so you know, I do not have COVID-19, but I do have a big f***ing spot on my nose that I'm quite ashamed of, so this mask works out quite well. Now, today we're going to talk about my first ever Star Wars toys. Now, I've mentioned this before, and unfortunately, I cannot decide which was my first ever Star Wars figure. It was either Darth Vader or it was the Hoth Stormtrooper. And no matter how much I think about it, I cannot pinpoint which one was first. So it was one of these two. And here we have the first vehicle from Star Wars I ever had. Now, the best part about this is all three toys came from the exact same place on different occasions. So I had an aunt and uncle who lived in Newcastle, England, and we would go visit them from time to time. And there was a big department store called Phoenix, And they, of course, had a huge toy department. And that's where I got my first ever Star Wars figures. So I would have been probably six or seven years old at the time. And I honestly don't remember if I chose these figures or if my mum and dad chose them. But regardless, I got these two figures first. Now, during another visit to Newcastle and to Phoenix, I should mention as well that last year when I was in the UK, we took a quick trip down to Newcastle and I went back to the Phoenix department store just to remember how it was. Obviously, it's completely changed. The exterior was the same, but the interior was all modernized. And I went to the toy department just to sort of try to rekindle the memories. I actually couldn't remember the toy department as a kid, but I went to the Star Wars section, posed for a couple of pictures, just to kind of, you know, complete the cycle, if you will. But it was on a trip in 1981 to Phoenix that I got this. And if you saw, a recent video of mine, you will know what this is. So, following the disappointment on eBay where the seller had wrongly listed an MLC3 inside the PDT8 box, I kept looking and I found one which is not ideal, but it looked okay and the price I got it for was an absolute steal. So, we're going to take a look at my first ever Star Wars vehicle. Now, there we go. I'm hoping the condition of it is passable. It, it's not the best example I could find, but for the price that was, I got it for, it was worth doing. So, a lot of packing material. It's always a good sign. Now, oh dear. Okay, fair enough. The box is a mess, but as you can see, PDT-8. <sighs> I'm just taking a, a moment to, to just take in the memories, you know, because I was seven years old in 1981, and thinking back, I'm not even sure that I chose this one because looking at the list of other mini rigs they had at the time, if it was down to me, I'm sure I would have gone for MTV7 or indeed MLC3 first because those were more, more exciting, I would imagine. But anyway, PDT-8, the Personnel Deployment Transport, was my first ever Star Wars vehicle. And at the time of getting this, I only had two figures. Darth Vader and the Hoth Stormtrooper. So, the box, I said, is terrible. And, of course, the proof of purchase is missing. Ah, it's in bubble wrap. Okay, I'm going to have to be careful. I don't want to destroy this box any further, so I'll take some care with it. And just put that to the side. Now, what do we have inside? The last time I saw this would have been when I sold my collection, which was, I think, 17 or 18 years ago. So, ha. 
PDT-8. Okay. Um, the stickers are actually remarkably in good condition. That's quite nice. Um, it's a bit slightly yellowed, extremely dirty inside, but I can take care of that later. But just remembering this, and uh, remember the front door, the back door, and these would turn, yep. Made a couple of guns on the side. Wow. So this is really, this is like real, real old school for me. So I think it used to have Darth Vader up front and the Hoth Stormtrooper in the back. If I can get his gun out of the way. Yeah. So for the longest time, this was the only Star Wars vehicle I had. Wow. It is nice. I mean, it's certainly one of these... Well, in fact, all of the mini rigs never actually appeared in the movie. But that was okay as a kid. We didn't care. But this was... So this, what we're looking at right here is the entirety of my Star Wars collection when I was seven years old. Seven... Yeah, I would have been seven. So this is all I had by way of Star Wars when I was seven, but boy, was I happy with this. And uh, it's, it's a bizarre looking ship, if I'm being honest. I mean, the way they had it on the box, they suge were suggesting it was for droids, which slightly better because at least when R2-D2 sat up front, he wasn't like his whole body sticking out of the ship. But this is, this is my memories come to life, which is always a good thing. Um, sometimes it's not a good thing, but just have to focus on the good times, you know? So there we go, PDT-8, back in my collection. And the best part is this is nowhere near as bad condition as I thought it was going to be. This is perfectly acceptable and I really have no reason to go looking for a better one. And for the price I paid, I'm very happy indeed. So, thank you for watching. I hope the mask didn't put you off too much. Um, special thank you to the wonderful Patreons. Please like the video, please subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos from All Things 80s, where hopefully this big f***ing spot will have disappeared.